Привет, товарищи, and welcome to my мастерская. Today I'm really excited to show you a Soviet classic. This is the Makarov, as it's known in the US, or in Russia as Pistolet Makarov. This pistol utilizes the 9x18 Makarov round, which is very Warsaw packed. Some quick facts about the pistol is the fact that it was designed in 1948 by Nikolai Makarov and produced from 1949 to the present day. Its official service record is from 1951 to 1991, but still continues to serve in different conflicts and police and military forces. What's really interesting is that this is a straight blowback action. The muzzle velocity is about 1,030 feet per second or 315 meters per second. Effective firing range is about 50 meters or 55 yards. And the feeding system is an eight round detachable magazine. The sights are very simple, it's just a blade front sight and a notched rear sight that's drift adjustable. The controls on the macro are quite simple, but the first thing that we need to do before we access them is to unload the weapon and we need to locate the magazine release. It's located in the heel of the grip and it's a two step process. With our thumb, we're gonna push to the right and we're gonna, with the index finger, we're gonna push straight down. After a couple of tries, this becomes second nature and you won't even think about it. Next, we need to locate our safety. It's located right up here on the slide. Notice right now it's in the fire position. You can see the red, the hammer is down. So this weapon is ready to fire. But first we need to check the chamber, obviously. We pull the slide back. There's nothing inside the chamber. The weapon is safe to handle. At this point, what's really interesting is this weapon does feature a decocker. So if you push the safety up, Notice that the weapon drops the hammer. Uh, there's actually a sear that blocks the hammer from hitting a round or a primer. So it is totally safe. At this point, you cannot pull the trigger, cock the hammer, or even pull the slide back. Everything locks up, very safe. If you put it back in the fire position, uh, notice you can either manually cock the weapon. You can also manually decock the weapon. Uh, this is a single action, double action pistol, so if your run fails to go off, you just pull the trigger again, and very, uh, which makes this very reliable. After, after that, notice that we also have a slide release. If you pull the slide back, and actually on the last round the slide will remain locked back. And just simply with the flick of your thumb, the slide goes home. So basically on this handgun, the only thing that you have to worry about is the trigger, slide release, safety, the hammer, and the mag release. This is a very simple firearm and it gets the job done. What's really, also what's very interesting is uh, I'm not going to make a separate video how to take the weapon apart because what you do is you pull the trigger guard up and to the side, left or right, depending on what you want. Make sure that there's no magazine, pull the slide back and upwards and that releases your slide. This is literally how simple it is to take it apart. At this point, you can take an oiled shoestring or whatever you have on hand uh, <laughs> and just clean the barrel. But this is literally all you need to do to field strip it. To put the weapon back together, also very simple. Pull it back. Boom, nothing to it. To load the macro, it's actually quite simple and similar to the AK-47. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the safety is in the fire mode, your safety selector. Insert your magazine and cock the weapon. At this point, it's ready to go and it is live. All right, guys, let's go outside and let me show you how this thing looks like in action. What's really interesting to note is the fact that because this is a blowback action, the barrel is fixed to the frame, meaning the barrel does not flex or move, making this a remarkably accurate pistol 
but also making the recoil slightly different than modern uh, center fire pistols. Basically what it does is it transfers all of the recoil straight back into your hand, which is something to get used to, but once you do, this thing is really, really uh, amazingly accurate. Um, I will have a part two video as far as accuracy, penetration, stuff like that. I will have a part two, so stay tuned for that. It's suspiciously, it's very similar to the Walter uh, PPK or the Walter PP. A, uh, same takedown procedures, same blowback design, uh, single double action. It's all suspiciously similar, so you guys have your theories about that. But as always, I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And stay tuned for the next video, and I would love to see you guys next time. Пока-пока.